Mark, you may surprise a few people with one of your selections. Yeah, I think that Stoke are in a bit of trouble, actually. I, I put that in the big kickoff pullout and um, was abused for it by Stoke fans <laughs> on Twitter. They let me know what, the, what they thought of, um, of the selection. But um, a lot of them, when I actually tried to reason with them, you know, agreed with, with some of the sort of uh, grievances I have with their team. I think they're very poor in the fullback positions. I think they're very limited in the midfield, central midfield areas, and they need goal scorers because they, they scored the fewest goals in the Premier League last season. And everybody's of the opinion that Stoke had a bad year last year purely because of the Europa League, which may be true, but what if it wasn't? Maybe teams have just worked out the way that they play and you know they haven't got the Rory Dillap throw as much anymore because obviously he's a, a veteran now and you know he can't command the place in the starting eleven. They're a very physical team and you know I, I just wonder if teams have kind of worked out the way to at least if not beat them to stop them from doing what they do we've seen numerous teams now go to the Britannia and play with three centre backs for instance and you know Stoke finished last season with one win in 11 that was against Wolves at home mm. and if if they lose their home form Stoke then away from home they've been one of the worst teams in the Premier League for a number of years relied really heavily on Tony Poulis being able to sort of galvanise the team particularly for the sort of the must win home matches you know they'd go on a mini bad run and then they'd put everything into beating a Wigan or a Blackburn at home and you know that'd stop the rot I just wonder now whether I wonder whether the fans will stay with Stoke if they have a bad start because mm. in the last three or four years the owners have put in you know a lot of money into signing players and they haven't this this summer quite rightly I believe because you know there's only so many times you can keep on trying to spend they've never finished in the top half of the Premier League Stoke so they are a team that could quite easily get dragged into it and I don't expect the championship trio of Reading, West Ham and also Southampton to be you know cut adrift at the bottom so it could be a real um, you know a real dogfight there at the bottom so I'm going to go for Stoke at a value better around about eight to one the other team I like is Swansea at nine to well, four. Don't like. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah I, I, and it's not a case of not liking them really because I, I, I admired the way they play but with that came you know the uh, the admirers of bigger clubs and you know we've seen Brendan Rodgers go to Liverpool we've seen Steve Cook could be returned on loan to Tottenham. He was a key man. Gilfie Sigurdsson's gone to Spurs as well. Joe Allen's on his way to Liverpool. You read the papers. Scott Sinclair's wanted by Manchester City. Neil Taylor, the left-back's wanted by Manchester United or Everton, depending on where Leighton Baines goes. And, you know, that's a big, big lot to take out of a team that were like, I don't know, 8-13, to 4-7 to go down last year when they had Rodgers and they had Corker yeah. and, and that they had Joe Allen. I don't think people realise how good they were. Now they do. They're a value bet to go down under a manager in Michael Laudrup who has never managed in the Premier League before. He's signed players that have never played in the Premier League before. And I think it could take them a while to get going. And by that stage, they could already be in big trouble. And James, I think you'll be looking at another team with a bit of second season syndrome. I uh, will, yeah. Um, uh, like Mark, I, I think the three promoted teams um, should should all survive, it, albeit in kind of differing styles. I expect West Ham actually to um, to have the, the biggest struggle, but I think they'll 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 be able to kind of scrap their way to survival. But the bookmakers always seem to uh, to to kind of overestimate the the leap between the Championship and the um, and, and the Premier League. But, you know, we saw all three promoted teams survive last season. Um, and I, I'd be looking at, at Norwich to, uh, to, to crash back down to earth uh, this time. I'm still not entirely sure how they stayed up last season. There seemed to be an awful lot of kind of last gasp defending and uh, balls being cleared off the line at, at ridiculous angles and, and, and that. But um, I'm, I, I think Chris Hewton did a fantastic job at Birmingham, but I, I just think he's, he's not got the tools to, um, to keep them up this season. Yeah, I'd agree. I, I think I, my plan for this season was to put all my winnings from Germany winning the uh, Euro 2012 on uh, Norwich to get relegated, but that was scuppered. <laughs> and I, I think they're really going to struggle. Obviously, Paul Lambert's not going to be there anymore. He was a big figure. You talked about Rogers at yeah, oh yeah, he's Swansea. as, you as can, important. You can yeah, put, yeah. if not, if not more. I mean, he influence. gained successive promotions, didn't he, with mm. a Norwich team that. And I think the, the opposition hit the woodwork against Norwich more than any mm. other team. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if they went. I've, another team I think is going to struggle is West Brom. Talking a lot, of, we seem to be sort of like following a pattern like of managers and changes of managers now. This might affect, obviously, they're going to have one at the Hawthorns as well now that 
Roy Hodgson's got the England job. Steve Clark is an unknown quantity. The other other managers, they've done it. They've been the number one in the. They've been the boss. Steve Clark, renowned coach that he is, has not had that particular experience, yeah. and he might get found out. I also think as well for the the renowned coach that he. Is, I mean, you have a look at sort of a, two of his last three jobs. I mean, the West Ham team that he coached so brilliantly apparently he finished with 30 odd points and then mm. he went to a Liverpool who had their worst season in you know most people's living but I mean, you was probably alive will go the last time uh, <laughs> Liverpool were that bad but me and James certainly wasn't but uh, I mean yeah big big question marks over whether a, a number two can step up so I'll, and I'll how do we be... know these people are good coaches anyway we yeah, don't work with them do no, we it's no, just reputation don't. and you can take a lot of things into that so um Who's your best bet for relegation? Then, I think the the best bet is Swansea. Uh, the the best value bet, you know, just an outsider Stoke. James. Yeah, Norwich. Yeah. And the baggage from here around ninety two, which is fantastic.